Okay, everybody. The Nintendo Direct is obviously here. Is obviously here. Is obviously here. Okay, what's going on? Is obviously here. Okay, what's going on? Is obviously here. Okay, what's going on? Okay, that was strange. Wait, what? Why won't let me go on YouTube? Wait, what? That's strange. Something wrong with my mic. Oh my god. Alright, there it is. That took forever. Okay, nah, nah, fam. <laughs> The It's kind of laggy. The Overton vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four yes. years later in Falmouth, okay, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew. I have never heard of this game before in my life. Remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company. You must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard thing, type! Oh my god. What I give you! Explore the ship. This, this Observe the situation and report. your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Overton to such end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Overton arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Never leave town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. 
Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. <laughs> Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yes! Banjo! We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. And the release date is today. Ooh, really? After oh my God! Video Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's yes, director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct watching right now. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. Okay. But first. Why are we going back in here? Yes. Oh no, I see yes. And what is that? Oh, 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 character I was like Fatal Fury never heard of it in November so Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle that means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass can there really be only one left Please let us be Waluigi. Do it. Please. That doesn't have to be We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. So, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons, add in plus effects that alter chambers, and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready! The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link Amiibo figure will be available that same day. Okay. 
You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character focused stories. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition, journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Then say hello to Tokyo! Oh my god. The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Forma, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore Next releases year, on January 17th. 17th. You can pre-purchase oh, the game later so today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. She also opens a door to the unknown. A door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, 
Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Introducing a brand new IP from developer Hi-Rez Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the intimate organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of yes. mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more when Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Please take a look. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield took place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety including outerwear and gloves. Wow, so you can now wear gloves if you want. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. I don't usually play X and Y. Or put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part, too, don't you think? Second, Pokemon oh, Camp. During your journey okay. through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. It's like, there are more than 100 types, and each one you cook up will be registered in your curry desk. The goal is to master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And of course, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware in hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water-type Pokemon has a huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses Surf or Dive during battle, Watch as it rises from the water, along with a catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it will retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramer's exclusive new ability, Gulp Missile. And that's all we have to share with you today. 
Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. That's close to my cousin's book. Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo <gasps> Entertainment I knew it, I knew it. Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. Yes! There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Here are the first games we plan to release. Happens. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Yes! Of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES-style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. Visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, Texture! You know Texture! You have Texture Survive! Nintendo Switch Online members, the large scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Oh, wow. Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your accomplishments, we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a joy Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch system in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 6th. Mario and Sonic oh. are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sports climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. I have the 3DS version Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game's release next week, the free demo version Damon X Machina Prologue Demo will be available for download later today. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And 
all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. That's sweet. The Star Wars classic Ooh, Star Wars. so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power well, I'm of the amazing about these games. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single player experience of Star Wars. Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go when The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, so then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusive. Oh no, now what just happened? Oh, they just logged on me. Please to Nintendo Switch and Assassin's yeah. Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your slayer on the go or be ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Oh, my God, what's going on? Open your calendar. More games are on the way. everything going. Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Choosing the deserted island getaway package. 
a laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches, and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? I think that'll be really cool. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Oh, March 20th, 2020. So, how'd it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. All right, I think the stream's about to end.
Because you don't play a game. Oh my god. Do you wish to change it? Huh? The future. Can't believe it. <laughs> yes, it really is. The definitive edition. Xenoblade games, but I think it's game. 2020. You see, mo most of these last games are after 2020. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. All right, guys. I think it's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. And oh, what's up, Roblox? Roblox Wings, welcome to the stream. Boy, let's come on. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, I director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Team kind of Show. In our last I showcase, know. I talked a little bit Banjo, about Hero. Banjo Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero Showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo-Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo-Kazooie was released, and then Banjo-Tooie. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo-Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. Wait, what? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Can we play on Xbox? Oh, come on. Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a future to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. That's probably okay.
So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like half flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called Claw This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rat. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. What just happened? This move is a pretty useful one. Oh my god, why is it lagging? Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up snap. Oh, the build drill? Oh, come on. That's his build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word. Oh my god, why is it laggy? That only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Three Eagle. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air wing attack like is wing whack. Their back air is an air rat attack rat, which hits three times. Rat attack. Their down air oh, is beat. Never ever seen the Pokemon rat attack. What's well, not actually the name rat attack? Buster, which they all oh, the beak buster. It's kind of like two legs down air. Used to down stab as they drop. Uh, I think that, I don't know if this is gonna move or smash. What if it does? As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original games. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series. Not like Luigi's up air and Smash Flash 2. That actually spikes, which makes no sense, honestly speaking. The up taunt is based on an animation. It's it's. Pretty unexpected. Zooey, nuts and balls, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is Egg Fire. It's pretty much their go to. Move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the. Please stop lagging. Ugh. You see here, Regal Blaster. Regal Blaster is based on this card in Banjo Tui, where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield buttons. Next, their side special is. Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an. Vincent 
It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a star. Oh, Since wow. the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. Ready? And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for it, you'll be wide open to attack. Okay, In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. What? Like, what about like the regular grab that they have? At any rate, I'll keep track of how many Wonder Wing you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure. Oh my god. It's almost been like an hour and it's starting to lag crazy. Take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the shock spring. Now what's going on? It's like... Oh. 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 Original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the shock spring pad. It can be used to recover and it's throwable. Bro, why is it lacking this bad? It wasn't lagging before, but now it's lagging really bad. The banjo picks up the jiggy from the original game. Good luck. That's the wrap. Cameos. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the wit. Until the. This poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cool, and you can hear all of What the heck is going on? About her from her sister, Brentilda.
This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Poor, poor string. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. Video. Stop with the lag. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helped you out in many ways throughout the game. Getting old, bro. And we have two. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Song collection. New songs. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal, so I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhoff. He created the original band of Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Update. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. One more context! And with this bat, not with this, but this bat, and off it goes. Hi. We're blasting off Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. This time, Sandbag has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. 
Yeah? Time to strike. Here we go. No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. <laughs> In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized knee fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize their special moves. If you find a knee fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want to play as them. However, this will not be applied to knee fighters created before the software update and only applies to knee fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your knee fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of knee fighters. We will add in some knee fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Undertale himself, Toby Fox. Toby has actually visited my house and we played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate together. He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of Amiibo that will soon be available. Squirtle. Ivysaur. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. They will each be available on September 20th. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. 
Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Like he's red. New red. Finally, it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game world that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I appreciate your support. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Finish your water. How was your day today? At what? How was your day today? What you do? You gotta finish your book. Let's go. You almost finished? What are you doing? Recording the Nintendo Direct that came today. Nintendo. What is that? The Nintendo Direct. What is that? They they introduced new stuff that's coming to Nintendo Switch. What did they what did, what's new that you like? Uh Banjo Kazooie came out today. Also I need hero for I need hero today. What's hero? 